I got to know Angela. Um, she lives in Auburn, and she happened to do a video testing a voting machine. She put some plain paper in the machine, and it did weird things, and she knew something was wrong, and that video went viral. Um, so she, ha some of you may know her, um, but she has really been working with legislators. She's been working with our Secretary of State. She has a bill that is really important. It's not everything we want. Y'all, if you don't know, you, we can't always get everything we want, but we at least get our foot in the door and we get a start, and then we change it later. Um, what she's doing is great work, so come up and tell us about your bill, and then I'll pull you off. Yeah, I would probably take eight, okay. 10 minutes or eight minutes really but thank you for letting me speak for the eight minutes that I have but uh, especially since this is not normal for me anyway but I appreciate it so yes uh, most of you have seen my video uh, back in May of 22 I ran copied ballots of my absentee ballot um, in the machine and I didn't even think about putting it up here because I was thinking 10 minutes that's not a lot of time but um, it is on my website which I will be passing out at the end that y'all can go and watch it but anyway so after that after that um, experiment I guess and the way that the elected officials um, acted um, I was like okay something is up with this so I began to kind of dig into the election process here in Alabama digging into our very very large Title 17, which is our election code, plus the administrative code 307 that in like takes the Title 17 and makes it even a little harder. And there's um, just a lot to try to untangle like what really are we supposed to be doing. So with that last session, I met, I started going to Montgomery and I was like, hey, here's my ballot video. This is what I did. And um, so I have uh, representative Debbie Wood who was uh, down near Auburn and Lee County that I showed the video to her and she just was blown away. And she was immediately like, oh my goodness, we gotta do something. Um, she won her election in 2018 by only seven votes, I think it was. And so she was like, um, oh, this is interesting. So from there, we developed a tight friendship and we, and so I started going, like I said, to Montgomery and meeting with different legislators, trying to be, I, I mean, the first thing they would always say to me is, our elections are great. Sit down with me after an hour and they're like, oh yeah, I think there are some problems. So uh, four weeks left of session, I decided I would try to get this bill through. Debbie was working on three other bills that were very important that she'd been working on all session. Here I come and I am knocking her door down every day. I mean, like calling her, please, 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 can you please do this? She's like, well, we'll see. And I know that she thought there's no way this is getting through and we are just gonna, you know, she'll go away, you know, like not that I'll go away, but that it's just gonna go by the wayside. Well. Little did she know, I was not gonna go away and um, I was told by another legislator, give it a chance. So we did it, we dropped it LSA four weeks out, got it to HB 457. So um, it got into the elections and um, there's another, there's a whole long term to it. But anyway, the committee, the elections committee, it was uh, passed out of the House Committee 13 to zero, bipartisan, and that was amazing. Uh, you know, of course, running out of time, I'm not sure that's not really running out of time, but we did really, I mean, it was four weeks left of session. So that just then made me more, we're like just passionate about trying to get this past this session. We started trying to get it pre-filed um, prior to the session starting, having meetings, um, and it has been a difficult uh, journey to say the least, but all I, I would say all good legislation takes time. It is hard work, you have to be patient with it, and that is something I'm not good with. But with that said, um, we are moving forward. The bill just got dropped back again to LSA and like Becky said, is it everything that we want? No, probably not. And I know there's a lot of you in here that have done a lot of things with election integrity and are continuing to. And all I would say is that I would pray and hope that we would just join arms together in this, get this bill passed once we get a bill number and help to get that because that is going to be the first step, I believe, in getting something done in our election process here, being able to actually touch the ballots themselves via not having to be a contested election or a recount. And therefore, we believe that this is a good bill moving forward. Again, it's not everything we want, but it is a step in the right direction and we can, again, take it further as we go. But, you know, there's been a lot of pushback and I'd say, you know, a lot of the elected officials, you know, they just, they don't wanna do the extra work they're really hesitant about this touching these ballots and you know and I'm just like look this is your job 
and we deserve the the voters of Alabama deserve this and we are the last state to not have some sort of post election audit they're not all the same there are a lot of different ways you can do audits they even wanted me to go back and doing an LA an LNA the logic and accuracy testing is what they wanted me to change my bill to and I said no I would lose support that doesn't make any sense a logic and accuracy test is a test ballot that you get or a a sorry a test stack that you get that's already done from ESNS that is sent to you like they do prior to elections and so it's not even an audit and so therefore I stood we stood our ground we had to compromise on the amount of precincts we're getting but we were not compromising that we had to put in place some sort of post-election audit so as soon as I get it um, I will be passing that out um, my friend Ashley is passing this out my uh, email and my website is on there um, voters for election integrity .com. my video with um, Emerald Robinson is the only video I have on there right now but the ballot video is on there so thank you so much yeah it's, it's really awesome to see citizens getting involved if you see a problem you can go to your legislator and try to get something done the bill she's talking about is an audit bill so they would be able to just randomly audit audit some ballots and make sure that randomly things are happening like they should be. Uh, this week there was a bill that passed out of committee that is the ballot harvesting bill. It was in the Senate and basically you all will see this if you get our updates. I'll be sending this out on Saturday. But this bill would make it illegal to pay for someone to get a ballot application for you, an absentee application, or to turn your ballot in. You can't pay for that anymore under this bill. People get gift cards. You know, they have stacks of gift cards at churches. Hey, come here and fill out an application. So that, that would stop. It's great. I actually got to testify at that hearing, and I think, we're, I think it's going to pass. Um, I was the only one that was for it they had they brought in everybody else who's against the, who's against it but it's a good bill and everybody saw that on the committee so that's going forward yay